In this video, I'll show you how to render NFT metadata inside a React app. We'll look at deploying an NFT collection, minting NFTs with metadata stored in IPFS, and rendering those NFTs in a React UI. NFT metadata can come in different file formats. Most NFTs have metadata with image file formats, like .png or .jpg files. But NFTs are not limited to images. They can also be in the form of a video, audio, or any other type of metadata. When building your dApp, you may need to handle these different kinds of metadata formats when rendering NFTs onto your UI. The third web NFT media UI component available in the React SDK automatically resolves the type of NFT you're trying to render and displays the relevant HTML tag that is best used for it. So if you pass metadata that points to a video NFT, it will render a video tag or an image tag for image NFTs, and an audio tag for music NFTs. Having this taken care of for you makes it so much easier to display your NFT metadata. Currently, 71.4% of people who watch our Web3 videos have not subscribed to the channel. So if you've taken away any value from what we're doing, can I ask just one small favor? Hit that subscribe button and join the 29%. Each week, we are going to be airdropping a very special and rare third web NFT to 10 subscribers. So let's take a look at how this works. The first thing we need to do is head to the third web dashboard and connect our wallet. I have MetaMask connected here, and I am also on the Mumbai Polygon testnet network. Uh, so if you want to use this network, you'll need to get some Mumbai Matic. Uh, some test Matic, so I'll leave instructions in the description on how to do that if you don't have those tokens in your wallet yet. So once you have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on deploy now. And ThirdWeb has a number of different templates uh, here that we can choose from. And I am going to go down to uh, the NFT collection template, and I'm gonna choose that one and click deploy. And here we get uh, some information about this contract that Third Web has for us. Uh, so we can read more about that, check out all of the available functions and events on the contract. Uh, I will just go ahead and deploy now for this NFT collection. So here we can define some general settings about our overall collection. So I'm gonna choose a profile picture for this collection. I'm gonna use a panda. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like to use panda pictures for test data. So we'll do a panda collection here. Uh, I'll just go ahead and name this cute panda uh, NFT collection. And we'll give it a symbol. We'll go with CPC for this one. And now we can define some other uh, settings for our collection. So I'm gonna actually um, come down to the description and we'll just say Panda NFT collection for YouTube. Cool. Okay. So down below we can see uh, my wallet address is already set in the uh, payout settings as the recipient for any NFTs that are minted with this contract, the Matic network selected, and we'll go ahead and deploy now. That's gonna bring up my MetaMask uh, to confirm the transaction. So we'll just come down and click confirm and we'll wait a moment for that. All right, successful. We now have a page. Uh, we can see QPAN NFT collection and uh, the little panda picture that we chose. And we've got all the information about our collection that we can manage here in our third web dashboard. So I'll come over to NFTs and now we're gonna actually mint some NFTs in this collection so that we have uh, some NFTs to display in our React app. So I'm gonna come over here and mint these NFTs one by one. So we'll call it panda one. We'll choose, we'll just use this same, uh, same panda picture. And then down here, it allows us to define some properties uh, that are unique to our different uh, NFTs that we're minting. So I could say like bamboo eaten, we'll say this panda ate three bamboos. Um, and then we can add a description here too. This is panda number one. All right, looks good. There's also the option to add even more advanced metadata, background colors uh, that are different per, NF, uh, to per NFT if you wanted to. So we'll just mint this one for now. Um, and once again, we'll confirm the transaction for that. And now it's successful. We can see our Panda NFT has been minted uh, right here in our collection. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this 
three more times. So we have four NFTs uh, that we can show in our React app. So we've got, we'll have Panda 1, Panda 2, and Panda 3, Panda 4. We'll go through that really quick. Perfect. All right. Now we can see all four of our NFTs are ready to go right here in our third web dashboard. So let's get into making the front end of the React app where we're actually going to display these NFTs. So in a new terminal, I'm going to use the third web CLI to get a starter template going here. So we're going to say third web uh, npx third web create dash dash template. And the template that we're going to use is the CRA TypeScript starter template. So we'll go ahead and run this and I'll confirm the name. That'll take a minute to run. And when that finishes, I'll go ahead and CD into the project folder. And then we'll just open this up in VS Code and let's take a look at what we got here for our uh, starter project template. So I'll just make this um, a little bit bigger here so we can see. All right, so we've got a basic React app over here, public folder, source folder with all of our files. So the first place I'm gonna come is into this index.tsx file. Uh, and I'm just gonna change the chain ID in here and update that uh, instead of mainnet. Remember we're using the Polygon Mumbai testnet. So I'm just gonna change this value right here, chain ID dot uh, Mumbai instead of mainnet. So I'll put that in and save it. Perfect. All right, now uh, I'm gonna come over to the app.tsx file over here on the side. And in here, uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of pretty much everything that's in here for the boilerplate as far as the HTML. Uh, and we're gonna kind of start over fresh with this. So I'll just remove all of that. All right, and the next thing I need to do is I'll get rid of this extra import. And now we need to import all of the functions and hooks uh, from the third web SDK that we're gonna be using here um, in our little project. So let's just start with getting this stuff imported. Um, so we're going to need the uh, third web NFT media component, which is kind of the main thing that we're looking at here today. Uh, we're also going to need to access our contract. So we're going to, our smart contract with our NFTs. So we're going to need use contract. Um, we're also going to need use contract metadata. And we're going to need use NFTs. And those are all imported from third web dev react. All right, now that we have that stuff in, let's go ahead and fetch our contract. And we're going to uh, save some of these uh, values from the hooks to a variable so that we can access that in our template. So I will go ahead and create a variable uh, here to access the contract. So we'll say const contract equals, and we'll grab our use contract hook. And in here, we're going to need to paste the address of our NFT smart contract. So let's go back over to our third web dashboard really quick. They've got it here for us. We can just click on it and that will copy the address to our clipboard. And we'll just paste that as a string right in here and pass that into the use contract hook. And that's going to give us access to that smart contract that we've deployed. Perfect. Okay, now we want to get access to our NFTs themselves. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just add the use NFTs um, hook here. We'll add a loading state. And once again, we're going to pass our contract in. This time we can just use um, the variable that we've already set up. And one more that we're going to need is uh, the actual metadata from this contract. So once again, we're gonna have metadata. It does have an easy loading state that we can hook into as well, which is really nice, so we'll add that. And then here we're going to equals, we're gonna use the use contract metadata hook and we will pass, uh, pass our contract in here as well. Excellent. 
All right, now that's all of our data fetching. So what we need to do now is display these, uh, just display this data in some HTML. So first, uh, let's start off by adding a, a header section for uh, displaying our overall collection data. So our title and image uh, that represents our overall NFT collection here. Okay. Perfect, all right, let's go main. And in here, we're going to, I'll just give these a class name so we can come back and add some styling here in a moment. Um, here, we're gonna check first uh, for the loading state to make sure we have our NFT collection data to display before we try and render it. And I'm just going to put a header inside of here. Header. And we'll give that a class name as well. And in that, let's create another div. And then in here is where we're actually gonna have our uh, NFT collection picture and uh, title for the collection overall. So we're gonna have an image tag here. And the source uh, is going to be, we're gonna get this from our contract metadata that we fetched up above. So we're gonna say metadata dot image. And then we'll basically do uh, well, let's add an alt text here to just to be uh, just to be complete. We'll say NFT uh, cute panda NFT collection thumbnail, and then we'll do the same thing down below in an H1 tag, and we're just going to add the name of the collection, which we can access through metadata dot name. And that's all that we're gonna need for our NFT uh, collection heading. So we're gonna have the thumbnail picture for the collection as well as the title of the overall collection. So underneath this, we wanna actually display the collection items and use this third web NFT media component uh, to show each one of our actual NFTs that we minted. So let's uh, create another section uh, down below and here we're going to once again check for the loading state and then we will add a div here for displaying our gallery and i'll go ahead and just throw a class name on this one as well for some styling here in a moment Now we're gonna map over um, our list of NFTs that we're getting back from Third Web. So we're gonna say, if we've got NFTs, we're gonna just map over those and then using our, the javascript.map function. And then for each one, we just want to render a card that displays that NFT. So for each one, we're gonna have a, another div um, that's going to have the class name of a card. And inside here, class name card. All right, and inside here is where we're finally gonna put our third web NFT media UI component. So for each one of these NFTs, we're gonna render this component and we're gonna pass in uh, the metadata which is gonna be just e.metadata. So our NFT metadata, we're just gonna put pass the whole object into uh, this third web NFT media component. And then uh, really quickly uh, down here below this, we wanna add something to actually uh, display when we are in the loading state, since we have, if not loading, show the NFT. So if it is loading, um, we're gonna actually need to just add a little piece for that. Um, We'll do a paragraph down here and we'll just uh, say loading inside of this part. 
give it a class name, loading, and loading. So if we don't have NFTs yet, it's going to let us know that we're loading. Uh, and then I just need to, let's see, I've got to clean up brackets here a little bit. We don't need that, and we'll get rid of that. And clean up our spacing a little bit here. Okay. There we go, so that's a little bit easier to read. So this should be everything that we need uh, to actually display our NFT collection that we'll get from our contract that we deployed um, and render those onto our React UI using the Third Web CLI and Third Web SDK. So this was pretty easy to set up and has only taken us a few minutes. Uh, and we've basically got everything here that we're gonna need. So. Let's go ahead and save this, and then we will pull up our terminal. So we'll just run npm run start, hit enter. And when this runs, we're gonna pull this up in localhost. There we go. And now we see loading while we're waiting for the data to fetch. And there it is. We've got our cute panda NFT collection. Uh, we can see the title, the thumbnail image there, and then for each one of our four NFTs, one, two, three, four, we do see the panda image showing up in a card. Now the style is a little bit wonky uh, here at this point, so we've got to add a little styling to those class names so we can see this a little bit better, but we've got data coming back. So that's all working as expected. I'll just go into our global.css style sheet here, paste a few styles in uh, and save that so we can see this. There we go, that's looking a lot more uh, clean. We can see our collection here and our four NFTs that we've minted. So to add on to this, just a little bit here, uh, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and just create, uh, use this metadata uh, from our NFTs to add more information to these cards. So I could create a, a P tag underneath this, and then I can access EDOP metadata. And if we look here, it's got all these different options on the metadata object that we could choose from to display. So I can go ahead and pick name and save that. And then if we come back over to our React app, now we see Panda one, two, three, and four. They've got their pictures and their names, and that's it. We're all done. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the Third Web YouTube channel. We're putting out incredible content for Web3 builders. And don't forget to join the Third Web Discord. The entire Third Web team is there waiting for you. Join the Discord. Can't wait to see you there.